This is something fans of motorcycle racing never thought they would see again. Wayne Rainey, three-time Grand Prix world champion on the bike that he raced to his last championship. Happened at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in England. Rainey is a legend in the sport, but his racing career was cut short by a catastrophic crash in 1993, leaving him paralyzed from the chest down. Almost 30 years later, though, he's back on the bike again. I got a chance to sit down with Wayne at his garage in Monterey just before he left for England. Riding around a church parking lot in Monterey on a mini bike is a far cry from the monster bikes Wayne Rainey raced back in the day. That was fun. And it was fun to watch too, but this practice was also necessary for Wayne to regain balance and feel, all part of preparation to ride again for real on the same bike he raced to his third world championship in 1992. I've got the 1990 bike, my 91 world championship bike, the, the 92 bike is in the Yamaha Museum in Japan. So they pulled it out of the museum, they modified the bike, they shipped it over to the Great Britain, and uh, we have a team there that's gonna um, prep the bike so I can get on the bike and ride it up the hill and then catch me on the other end. Super exciting for a guy who grew up on the adrenaline high of racing. Yep, that's Wayne as a youngster leaning in. Just a few years later, he would be on top of the racing world. Lots of trophies won along the way, won just about everything on his way to three world championships. Probably more if not for the catastrophic crash that left him paralyzed and ended his racing career. To ride my world championship bike for the first time in 30 years is um, going to be an accomplishment because, you know, after my career ending accident, I never thought I would ever be able to get back on that bike again, but I recall uh, when I was in the hospital early on and one of the thoughts that kept getting me through the day was I really want to try to ride that GP bike again someday and uh, that was um, that was a big effort for me to think about that but then that that uh, feeling faded and you know here it is 30 years later and I'm actually going to do it. There goes the thumbs up then so wait for this this is history being made here at the Festival of Speed at Goodwood. He's going to ride up in front of the house for the first time for the cameras. A big moment then. Wayne Rainey leads the grid. That's a perfect launch then from Wayne Rainey as he goes up to the first turn here. He'll want to stick to the middle of the track if he can. Wow, what a moment. Wayne on the bike again at the Festival of Speed, a celebration of motorsports hosted literally by royalty on a 12,000 acre estate outside of London. It was a monumental effort to pull this off, and initially, even Wayne needed a little convincing. The Duke of Richmond and I had a discussion uh, just before Christmas last year, and he was very convincing to me why he wanted me there, and he thought it would be good for the show, he thought it'd be good for people to see a good story. And it is a story that goes beyond motorcycle racing. It's a story about resilience, courage, and inspiration. We all have obstacles in our life, clearly. There's things that we look at that are hurdles, obstacles, etc. I think being, uh, being restricted to a wheelchair is something you would think is just insurmountable. Well, Wayne is proof that that's a myth. You know, I think uh, Wayne lives by the rule that you're only handicapped if you want to be. And he's chosen not to be. Wayne's racing career may have ended that fateful day in 1993, but it didn't stop him. He has dedicated his life to the sport he loves. Currently, sure he's the head of Moto America, and one of his most passionate goals is to inspire and promote a new generation of riders. You know, I think every kid should have a dream of what they can do in their life, and if they pursue it, obviously you can achieve it. He's feeling what that bike is doing through his chest. The vibrations are, oh, he gasped it out. Wayne Rainey puts it down. And that is part of the celebration that's happening in Great Britain this weekend. Celebrating a great champion, certainly. So Wayne Rainey, our hats are doffed to you, sir. But also celebrating a great life. 
Motorsports are such a big deal in Europe. They, they turn out sure. hundreds yeah. of thousands of fans. They were all there. I'm told there was there weren't many dry eyes in the house. I don't think so. After Wayne made that that run, um, and no rest for Wayne. He'll be back on the Central Coast uh, shortly, getting ready for uh, Moto America's Superbike Fest. Uh, that's happening July 8th through the 10th. What an inspiration yeah. too. All right.